Welcome back to This Side of 40. This is your girl, Lou. I just wanted to come with you guys with my favorite for 2018. Uh, we're fastly approaching the end of the year, and I just wanted to share what I, as a makeup beginner, um, have enjoyed and the things I've learned. So let's start with my brows. For 2018, um, my favorite combination for brow has been this LA Color Eyebrow Pal Powder Set Duo, and this one is in the one Medium Dark, and Wet n Wild's um, Ultimate Eyebrow Mascara, so it's just like eyebrow setting product really like that it's been really easy to learn how to use for a beginner um i can do other people's makeup really really good like i said before but my doing it all myself has been kind of an, an issue over the years and i'm getting better moving along um and this is just in the order that i do my skincare in um, this top of seal, this has been top of clear has been a really good for getting rid of my hyperpigmentation. So really have been enjoying that. Then following that, I like the SPF 50 from Walgreens. Um, and this one is the one that's hyper allergenic and this one's, uh, oil free water resistance free. 80 minutes really really like that then following that is foundations and concealers my foundation of the year favor has been the la girl pro coverage and this one's in the one in toast and the queen collection in um 855 because they just basically look like my skin, but better. So that's about it. Then as far as concealers go, it has to be LA Girl Pro and um, the colors Toast and Toffee. And then LA Colors and Deep. So those three shades always work really good for me. And thirdly, for my face, would have to be... The Contour Palette by LA Girl. Um, that has been a love of mine for the whole entire year. And just because I didn't mention it, I want to make sure I say it. The Magic Collections um, Primer. And this one's in matte. Is really, really good. Um, this is um, a really easy formula to work with. And I can mix that with my... Um, sunblock and it'll be perfectly fine my thus far for this year has been the magic collection rose water um i love this as a hydrating mist and i set my face with this it has been amazing this is actually my fourth bottle this year and that's where i'm at <laughs> now moving along i'll have to say like i have lots of eyeshadow uh this is just basically have been every time I pick it up touch it whatever it makes me happy and that would have to be the B palette by um BH Cosmetics this palette every time I put it on brings me nothing but joy and the reason why it brings me joy is just because of the things it says like it says um be whatever you want to be and the colors are in the colors happy, grateful, generous, optimistic, inspired, bold, charismatic, thoughtful, able, confident, and hopeful, and kind. But this palette really, every time I put it on, makes me feel really good just wearing the colors. Then moving along... I will have to say this combo has been helping me a whole whole lot. Um, the LA Cup, I mean, yeah, the Wet n Wild waterproof mascara, liquid liner, and Wet n Wild Mega Volume mascara. 
Duo's eyelash glue, and I've used this completely up. I panned that. As well as, because I have, my eyes are very, very sensitive. The liquid, the, these eye drops have been helping my game. As far as lips go, this year, and I went back to an old favorite, Carmex has been like my number one bay. Not even a lip color top this for me. This has just been bay for me this year. Moving along, favorite brush cleaner has been the Dr. Brunner's Barb Soap. This has been a really easy to work with product. I usually cut it into like fours and just clean my brushes as I go so that I'm not wasting any of the product. That has been really good. And coming down to the end of the year, I've tried and worn all my perfumes for a month at a time. But I will have to say Gypsy Couture took the cake. This is the original one. I really have been enjoying that wholeheartedly. So if you have had yearly favorites, please share them with me down below. I thank you for subscribing. Please write, comment, and subscribe if you have not. Alrighty then.